Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to style the remove question page. So uh, here is the remove question page. Let's uh, move on to creating the remove uh, underscore question dot CSS file. Within here we are going to have some basic styling um, like before. So I could just go ahead and copy and paste those, except uh, the uh, background image, image is going to be different. We have done all of that, so I feel like if I try to type it again, it's going to waste your time. So I'm just going to save that. Reload this page. Reload this page. It doesn't work. Why? Because we have not added the link. Let's go to static. From there, remove question. Save that reload the page and there we go so you can see we need to uh it is obvious that we need to provide some more styling uh therefore i'm gonna come in here so within the uh, html we do have this div which has a class of pair let's go ahead and style that first so pair uh pair i'm gonna say margin top it's just uh, provide some space between this pair and the h1 that we have uh, 40 pixels padding is going to be 20 pixels on all sides uh, background color is going to be this hsla value that i'm going to paste in height of uh, the pair the pair represents that question that the user is trying to remove so as i as we coded through this project uh, we wanted to show the user first the user was in the quiz page where the user clicked on a specific question through the link remove this question and the user was redirected to this page in this page what we wanted to do was to show the user that are you really sure that you want to remove this question so we just wanted to show the user and uh, like it another preview like a preview the question again for the user so I'm gonna say 350 pixels height this is the styling for that pair the width is going to be 700 pixels text uh, text align uh, is going to be center color is going to be white save that let's run this here we go just a preview of the question and to make sure that the user does not commit any mistakes because it's not going to come back the user has to add it again it's permanent now i'm going to grab the question div the div with a class of question and i'm going to provide it some styling so i'm going to say margin top 20 pixels uh padding 15 pixels padding 15 pixels uh font weight 400 and uh, font size is going to be 25 pixels uh, margin bottom is going to be just some spacing between the question and the answer 40 pixels let's grab the answer as well mm, let's provide it with a background color which is this rgba color you can see how i'm changing these color codes just to stay like uh, unique each time so padding and just to make sure that I do not forget that RGBA also exists 10 pixel now I'm gonna grab the paragraph for the padding and I'm gonna um, for the answer not paragraph for the padding that doesn't even make sense the paragraph for the answer and I'm gonna say text align not decoration where is text align it was supposed to be here and I'm going to set it to center font size 20 pixels Let's check our changes there we go it is uh, getting better and better and better what is this and uh, moving on I'm going to style the confirmation this part so we are done with the title with the question and answer just the confirmation part so for this just to make sure you can see it I'm going to dock this uh, developer tool so you can see it is dock I'm gonna put it on the other screen that I have right here so it is always going to be open don't worry about it 
in here uh, let's grab the confirmation so confirmation confirmation uh, we're gonna give it a margin top of 15 pixels a padding of uh, 20 pixels and color of white so all the text has to be white then I'm gonna grab the paragraph within that so there is only one paragraph dot confirmation p using the descendant selector font size should be 25 pixels uh, text align should be center uh, border bottom uh, one pixel solid white very thin padding bottom i'm just going to provide it some padding and i'm going to ask you a question before actually uh, running this code in the browser I'm gonna ask you something in here just to make sure that you're paying attention now whenever I here you can see we have a border bottom and here we have a padding bottom when I say padding bottom will it be the space between the element and the border or outside the border so whether uh, what, is it going to be inside the border or outside the border I'm gonna give you three seconds pause the video think about it do not cheat do not take a look at the box model because that is going to tell you so all right what do you think because in the box model padding comes before the border so when you say border uh, padding bottom five pixels what it actually does is we have a paragraph it is going to provide it provide it with a border so I'm just going to comment this part out for now just to show you visual you can see this border is a little bit close to the paragraph if you want to provide some space between the content which is this part and the border then you need to go with the padding save that and there we go you can see that we have a lot more space if it is not that visual for you I'm just going to go very large so you can really see it there we go so this is this is very cool that padding can do this um, let's grab the form which handles yes and no I'm gonna give it a width of 300 pixels uh, text align center border bottom is gonna be one pixel solid uh, white padding but uh oops <laughs> i'm basically repeating the styles for this one so it's going to be it doesn't have any text align it just has margin top so it's 25 pixels i'm going to set a display property on it to flex um justify content so you can see we don't have any flex direction so by default flex the flex container direction is row therefore justify content aligns in the row direction whatever the flex direction is so it aligns so it applies horizontally space between you have seen the effect of this in the quiz i'm going to grab the button as well as the anchor element provide them some common styling uh the common styling are going to be text decoration decoration I'm gonna say text decoration to none uh, I could just provide this for the anchor element so I'm just gonna say anchor just bring that here let's go there I'm gonna say border none background none font size uh, 20 pixels color of the font should be white and um, I'm gonna provide some unique styling for each of those as well so buttons they are not um, hover when when you hover on them there they do not change but anchor tags if you hover on them the cursor changes to a hand but for buttons it doesn't happen so you need to provide that explicitly cursor pointer now let's save that if you come in here see see there we go and um, let's see I'm gonna provide some padding for those as well five pixel and ten pixels let's save that just there we go very very cool 
Hmm, uh, I'm just going to provide them with some border and then we are done basically. So I'm going to say bo for, for the bu button, I'm going to have a border top, one pixel, solid white, as well as a border right. So the button is going to have a border towards uh, the anchor element and the anchor element is going to have a border towards the button element. That's how I've actually designed these. So let's bring that here. Uh, for this, it's going to be left. Save that, come here, reload the page. There we go. Um, hmm. Are we done here? So I'm just going to say no. So I think we are done in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's refresh the page. There we go. So we are going to click on the first question. We can go to the next question to the all the way to the last question and uh, where is the last question did I just bypass it yeah so this is the last question you can go to home page which is this page you can add a new question you can say um, uh, what um, what is no 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 not that uh, let's think um, do no 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 do lions hunt at night say yes let's create this question so you're going to see a preview of that questions uh, that question uh, that you've created you can go to home page you're going to see the question right here you can come to the remove page where it says do you really want to remove this question and the reason that i've provided this here again is for example, the user forgets, okay, which question was it that I was trying to remove? Oh, it was this one. So, no, I'm not going to remove this. But, you know what, I just changed my mind. Let's go ahead and let's remove it again, and then we do not have that. Um, so, this is page one. This is page two. This is page three. This is page four. That's it for this section and for this application. In the next section, we are going to build a meeting planner using Django. And then right after that, I'm going to show you another web application built using Flask, which is going to be full stack, of course. And in that one, I'm going to show you how you can use SQL Alchemy. So with this, our lecture and section comes to an end. Thank you for coming this far. And I do really commend you on your dedication and hard work. And I'm sure you're going to get the most of this course and you're going to become an awesome developer. So see you in the next one.